Hi, my name is Willis Newman. I grew up in a small ranching town in Idaho. And after I became a Christian, I had such a hunger for God's Word that I decided to go to a Bible school. Well, years later, after completing two masters and two doctorates, God allowed me to work as a pastor for eight years in the Portland, Oregon area, and then to teach in seminaries first in Hawaii and later at Faith Seminary in Tacoma, Washington. And as I still currently serve there as professor of biblical studies. And my wife Esme has 15 years of ministry with Campus Crusade for Christ. Well, first in the Philippines and then in the South Pacific, specifically Fiji and Tonga. She has two bachelors and two masters as well, and she's currently working on her doctorate in intercultural studies. She too works as an adjunct faculty for Faith International University and Seminary. And Esme and I started our ministry as a couple with a website called BibleTeachingAbout.com. Esme create and maintains the website while I write articles that we hope Christians everywhere would use for their personal growth and their ministry. Soon we were getting 50,000 hits a month and Christian leaders from several countries started requesting us to help them start a Bible school. And our ministry of providing Bible training to village pastors began in the Kingdom of Tonga in 1990. It has since spread to Liberia and Nigeria and Africa and also India and now in Samal Island in the Philippines. Our ministry to village pastors in Greater Mindanao started in 2015 when we first met pastors from Don Marcelino and Agusan, including those who work among tribal folks in a town called Kichirao and they begged us to start a modular Bible school in their areas. And most of these pastors and church elders have longed to attend a Bible school or a seminary, but they couldn't because of insufficient education and finances. From 2015 to 2019, we've conducted modular courses in several teaching sites, included in Don Marcelino, uh, Joss, and Agusan. We have a total of about 100 plus students from these places. And at these teaching sites, churches provide a venue for classes, and we help the church host in providing lunches for students. At the end of 2019, we decided to build a base in Samal Island near Davao City. Samal has an estimated 100,000 residents and has a little more than 200 small churches. And these are outnumbered by homegrown cults. One large cult preaches that Christ failed in his mission, and their leader is a much better Messiah. Well, village pastors are often ill-equipped to teach their members how to share the gospel and to defend their faith. In March 2019, we had a ribbon-cutting ceremony to officially open our base. In the November of that same year, we moved to Samal, and we thought Samal would simply be our base of operation as we continued to teach in the different teaching sites. We were about to open another teaching site in Sarala when the COVID-19 pandemic hit. But Samal is relatively COVID free and the churches were never really shut down. So after the three month strict lockdown, our team consisting of myself, McCone, our worship and promotion coordinator, my wife Esme, who works as the administrator, translator, and teacher, and Rex, our facility manager, decided to open our Samal base to local students. After just two weeks of Mekong visiting churches and telling them about our ministry, the Samal Newman Bible Training Center began to grow and to grow and to grow. <laughs> and to date we have a little more than 250 students from all kinds of church denominations in Samal, both international and homegrown. Southern Baptist, Methodist, Alliance, Catholic, Independent, Baptist, One Way, Jesus Christ and Lord is Lord, and from the United Church of Christ in the Philippines, or UCCP. Many say that when we give away something for free, that recipients will not take what they are given seriously. One of the huge reasons why our target population uh, does not have Bible education is money. And this is why we offer our courses for free, so that we can educate as many church workers, especially pastors and pastors-to-be. 
and using monies we raise from our friends and supporters in America and our own personal income, we provide course materials and lunch at the center. And our biblical rationale comes from Paul, who wrote in 1 Corinthians 9, verses 13 through 19, quote, The Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel should receive their living from the gospel. But I have not used any of these rites. And what then is my reward? Well, just this, that in preaching the gospel, I may offer it free of charge. Well, out of gratitude, many of them donate food, or bananas, rice, root crops to help offset our, offset our food cost. And some churches have special offerings every Sunday for the school. And here's what some of them are saying about how Samal Newman Bible Training Center is helping them personally and in their ministry. Basic man siya, pero it reminds us na kuhan ka ng we have to pursue more. Amen! We have to pursue more. Amen! 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 Amen. Di mo may amen, hindi mo pa. Salamat sa ginawa ito kaya nakaskula ko din eh. Si Pastor Campo Mayor, di nakonvince ko niya na maskula niya. Di nakonvince ko. Si Sir Nikong Pod, tutuwa ako sa palay, kamo lang. Pero tayo nga nag-meditate ko ba, Lord? Nag-iskilan ako po iya sa Bible School sa Davao City, sa Sports School na sa TBC. Nga nang muskil ako man, di ko nga, pastor na ako. So, nakita na ako ba nga, din hindi ay, nakabalok ko kung saan kong bisin ako. Although, I'm graduate in four years sa Bible School, pero murag nawala ako kahit tanggal ko sa Bible School eh. Nawala! Oh, nalubong! <laughs> so, pag school na ko dito eh, nabalik! Nabuhit! Nabalho! <laughs> Gusto na ko mo tudlo. Mag-sunday school mo ba? Kaya wala may Sunday school karon kaya ginalese na mo ang oras ang mong pag-uban sa pagsimba. Yeah. Napuyawan ko kaya i-approach mo kung Dr. Willis ganiha, nga morag magkatudlo ang Giovanni. Pero, Ah, uh, mao ni akong pasalamatan kita ko tungod kay pinaagi ni ini nga pagtuon mas nalalum ang amo ang uh, pagsabot sa Biblia og sa ato ang foundation as Christian. Daghang salamat ato ni Dios. Gawas sa among mga eskwelahan kung dili man ka MPA, ah uh, mo gawas dinto nga way Ginoo, komunista, negosyante. So, lahi na gyud ang dagan bote pa sabot infected ang amo ang mismo ang, ang sistema kinahanglan mi og rehabilitation kinahanglan mi og restoration so akong gitan aw as pastor promising kayo ang saman daghan ang nanulod nga mga mga investors halin kayo ang mga yuta namo dito paliton gan ining akong yuta sa kuko dumay ra man daw ipakapili akong yuta sa pusod <laughs> di gyapon to so, paghuman sa tulay Musugot ang sadili, mo improve yun ang samal. Amen. So every churches in samal must be ready for the development. Karon, na crisis with leaders. Kami dili seven churches, duha lang, tulo lang mga pastor. Manang ang akong simbahan, tulo ka buok. Muro pagong angel. Ito ang hindi pulin. <laughs> Galiso dyan kung maayaw. So nag-meet me ni nila Dr. Willis at Miss May, ako di share ang problem. Sa so, ingan niya, among ministry is uh, to teach and to train village pastors. Kahit itong mga pastor nga nagdalag simbahan, pero two months, four months, six months, one year, two years lang ang training. Na pastor da yun. How come na pastor? So, sila nga taga-eskwilahan, wala yung estudyante. Kay mahal man magpadala. Nga yeah, nay mga simbahan, wala mga pastor. So na something wrong. Kay nga no man na eskwelahan, way mo eskwela. Pero nay mga pastor, nay mga simbahan na kinahanglan og mga mga pastors o mga leaders. So, akong gingon, it's an answer prayer. We thank God for giving us this exciting assignment. It is hard work. However, we couldn't have done it without the faithful men and women who encourage us, support us, and lift us up in prayer. 
Now in Christ, the best is always yet to be. So together, let's continue to trust God for bigger and better things for His people and for the gospel's sake and ultimately to His glory. Every time, every time, every time, every people, every day.